Hello, hello, everyone. What's up? What's going on with you guys? This is the X21 Podcast. I'm your host, the Ninja X21. This is episode three of the X21 Podcast. Hopefully, you guys have had an amazing day. Today, we got a whole bunch of things to discuss. And let me read over. This is something I'm probably going to do a lot. So let me go ahead and read this to you guys. We're going to talk about a lot. This is going to be... I'm I'm not sure if it's going to be a longer video than the other two episodes, but... I'm going to try to talk about everything as quickly as I can. This isn't supposed, like, it's a podcast, but it isn't supposed to go over an hour long. That's the kind of the way I want it. And plus, it kills time whether I'm downloading a game on my console or, you know, trying to kill some time anyway for something before I go to bed. Um, It's currently 12.03 a.m., so it's just turned Wednesday. So you guys will probably be seeing this 4.30 p.m., which I just posted on Twitter um, or X, rather. You can guys can follow me on uh, X, the Ninja X21 YT. You can follow me on Instagram, the Ninja X21. Also on TikTok, the Ninja X21. And you can subscribe to my other channel, X21 Plays, if you want to see some non Fortnite content. Right now, I'm doing. Uh, Right now, I'm doing uh, Dance Social 3. I'm trying to complete all the songs on there. What's a little hard about playing that game and uh, also trying to make it so viewers are willing to see my content, I will say this. A lot of people view my uh, X-101 Plays channel, even though I only got 29 subscribers on that channel on that channel a lot of people actually view that and like my videos compared to my other channel so that's the reason why i'm kind of just kind of flipping back and forth at the moment either though why i should just be making videos on just one channel i got a lot of videos made on this channel so if you guys want to go inside the channel and look at different things different discussions i had one of the biggest videos that i i think i done recently was basically um the locker tour everybody likes those and i just got a, a very nice comment um, talking about, um, I have a pretty decent locker, not going to lie. Um, I, I appreciate that 100%. Like it's certain things that I do not have in my locker. I, I miss out on certain, um, battle pass items, um, as far as edit styles. And I, I missed out on the carnage skin. Um, just because I been burnt out when I don't complete some, I get burnt out. So that was in, that was during chapter two. It was uh, in chapter three and four as well. I was not burnt out at all in chapter one. I absolutely loved the game. And it's just a different vibe. It's not the nostalgic feeling. It's just a lot more things feel balanced into about season nine um, and season X, in my personal opinion. It was still some overpowered things, but it wasn't like, oh, you wasn't going to lose every game because um, the RNG, I mean... I mean, you wasn't gonna get the same freaking weapon off the off the drop of a spawn like you can, you know, in this season and previous seasons. Um, I, that's the reason why I just like chapter one. And yeah, we're gonna go over uh, the things that I uh, I basically said um, earlier. Um, so I posted on my Twitter. That way you can find things early. By the way. Um, so in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing the WWE and Fortnite collab they're supposed to be doing. Uh, the my my thoughts on um, the collabs in general. So anything that just came out, whether it was an icon series skin for a uh, YouTuber or not, or you know whatever else that just came out, um, we are just going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about my Fortnite locker, how uh, stacked I've tried to make it over the past. Um, however many years since 2018, basically, um, we got my favorite season and why, and we got me being burnt out of Fortnite. Is it a question of me being burnt out of Fortnite this season? Yes or no. And we also have a quote tweet that I made. Ju Jitsu Kaisen. I don't know if I just said that wrong or not. Um, let me know down in the comments. Did I say that right? I don't think I did. Um, terrible anime shadings, why I picked Elite Agent as my main, that's a really good one I want to discuss, will next season be any good, Icon emotes falling off, save the world daily rewards, and I also said all of this will be discussed on the X21 podcast 430, so I think every week around 4.30pm, I kind of want to just release the podcast, I don't want to release it too late, I don't want to release it too early, kind of just in that middle, that middle spread. Um, my charger just dropped, by the way, I don't know if you guys heard that. Should be noise cancellation on the mic, but my, uh, 
you get you can literally hear my air conditioner last video um blowing and i didn't really appreciate that um i turned it off for this video so i'm gonna try to get through it as quickly as i can so let's go ahead and talk about it man let's go ahead and start with the first topic of the podcast so the first topic is wwe um with fortnite you know uh they doing a collab soon uh there's a bunch of different collabs that are supposed to be spread out coming out for fortnite now what i'm hoping is for this wwe collab i hope it doesn't come out soon like very soon um i kind of want to come out next season but i i feel like that's not the case they're gonna try to bring it out as early as possible so the skins are becky lynch and bianca belair um I, I want to get my thoughts on them so bad, which I am, but I'm just thinking of the Bianca Belair. I just wish that was Rhea Ripley. I wish I wish it was just the two champions. I wish it was just Oscar and Rhea Ripley. They are their brand's champions, but at the same time, you cannot complain because the collab couldn't have came out anyway. Like, if it didn't come out at all, like, you know, we are still be debating about skins. So I'm just glad we got some more WWE skins. John Cena, Becky Lynch, and now uh, with ba Bianca Belair, um, both of those skins. Um, that That is going to be nice. Um, so I don't know if I'm saying this right, but Becky Lynch has a WrestleMania, uh, her WrestleMania 35 attire, if I'm not mistaken, when she won both titles at WrestleMania against, uh, what is it, Charlotte Flair, Ronda Rousey. I'm not sure if Alexa Bliss was in that match too. I think it was just a triple threat match. I think Alexa Bliss might have lost, may have lost her title before WrestleMania. Um, I'm not sure, but I do remember Alexa Bliss um holding the Raw Women's Championship around that time. So, um, that is very interesting. I haven't watched uh, I like I watched a lot of WWE. I've been watching this since I was little, but. For some reason, I watch something and can't remember. I'm not like stuck in wrestling all day long, but when it comes out Monday, Monday Night Raw, you got uh, Tuesday NXT, you got Wednesday AEW Dynamite, you got Thursday Impact, Friday Friday Night SmackDown, Saturday AEW Collision, and you know wherever else it comes out, whether it's a PLE or something like that, coming out on Sundays and Saturdays as well. Um. I'll try to keep as up to date as possible. I have not watched Collision uh, last week or this week, wherever you want to uh, basically call it. Um, I have not watched Collision. I have not watched Collision yet, and I'm looking to see that soon. But we are we are talking about the WWE collab. So Bianca Belair, she also has her uh, attire as well. Um, I don't even know what her, her attire is on the 2K game. Um, but she has a white and uh, a white attire with like the uh, red lipstick on, like on her tire on her tights and on her breast hair. Um, that is a classic Bianca Belair attire, and I don't really mind that attire at all. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I think it's a good collab. I think the skins look very nice. And if you guys aren't or or not into WWE, I, I recommend you guys go ahead and check it out. Like I think. Um, I'm not. I'm not really talking about the product WWE. Like checking it out. I'm talking about the skins. You guys probably already seen the skins. I recommend getting them. To be completely honest, I recommend getting them. Um, even if I might not be able to get them, somebody needs to pick those pick those skins up because I feel like they are going to sell quite a lot. And that's really all I gotta say about it. I really love um, Becky Lynch. Not so much Bianca Belair because. That version of Becky Lynch was just my favorite at the time. She was my favorite in the company. I love Rhea Ripley still, um, even now more so um, than I did uh, back then. I love Rhea Ripley a lot um, back in the NXT uh, when she was going against Shayna Baszler for the NXT Women's Championship. I really did like that. And... Um, that yeah that that's literally basically about it i wish she was a skin and she probably will be sooner rather than later um hopefully we get a rear ripley skin because I, I i do believe that will be the highest paid skin that fortnite epic games will probably end up getting because you have so many people so many people that watch the wwe product come over to fortnite and buy that skin just because it's mommy it's mommy rear ripley that's what they call it mommy so 
I don't I don't see any other reason not for any anybody to pick up their skin um when they do decide to come out with it because if 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 we don't get those skins we don't get an Undertaker and Kane skin as well I don't know what y'all doing I literally don't know what y'all doing all right so we're gonna move on because we are trying to roll past in this podcast today my thoughts on collapse in general um I wanted to talk about this as well my thoughts on collapse it's a lot you know it's a lot coming out it's a lot a uh, it's a lot of collabs actually coming out to the game and do i mind it not really but original skins skins that are made by concept artists we are not getting as much as those as i would like you know they are coming out gradually probably um the past few weeks are probably the most we have gotten out of uh the skins and throughout the season in general like we have really haven't got anything at all and i it's just been very disappointing just to be completely honest it's been very disappointing and i think they are over clouding the item shop you know it makes the item shops better but at the same time when i'm looking for something that isn't a collab skin it is so hard for something i want to come out i feel like it's not even that. It's feel like the future and daily. It's not even collapsing the future and daily, but they feel like it feels like they bring out the same items every single day, or the same items in a week. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, something of the same. You know, some of the same set or skin will come out in the item shop like it, like it never came out in like two thousand days or something like that. Not that I want anything rare to come back. I just literally want something to to be different in that shop because they have so much stuff that they can make unique. I don't know who's making the shop rotations. I think it should be a decision on the feature and daily every day instead of somebody making it for a full month straight and then want to finally change up something when, um I, I don't know, mo- I guess money declines. I'm assuming the same stuff is coming out because people are buying it. I'm not really too sure, but... You're not really bringing out anything uh, new in the daily or feature. I don't. I don't know why. Every time, every time I look, it's something that I own, and I don't try to buy everything. That's something I don't try to do at all. But it's getting to the point where it's just like, no, I can't do it. Like I, 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 I get to the point where I have a certain list of skins, which I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about loading up my Google Documents and actually um, typing in on the keyboard that um, the skins and items that I'm looking forward to coming out um, and just make a list of things to get. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think the high, uh, I think the skin that is most on my mind right now to end up picking is Drop D, uh, Recon Specialist. Obviously, um, it's just skins I should have had anyway. Um, uh, like I said, Recon Specialist, Triceratops, um, Battlehound, some of the OGs, some of the OGs, um, those are the skins I'm looking forward to coming out, and some of them have already came out, it's just the matter of money or not, I'm not making, like, bank or anything like that at the moment, I'm trying to actually get a job, so it's, te- it's, it's, it's kind of hard to get, uh, get the stuff you want if, uh, you know, you're not making that bread at the moment, um, so I'm, I'm going to toss that aside and move on to our next one. My expectations in season four. Well, it's kind of leading towards my next page that I put in my quote t- tweet. Um, My expectations for season four, I'm just going to answer it in one big question or one big answer or a simple answer rather. My expectations for season four is very low i do not expect next season to be a good season i'm 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 not expecting next season to be a good season just because of the lackluster season we have been having uh, i get a lot of you guys like certain seasons y'all like the alien season y'all like the marvel seasons it's, it's some of the loopholes for me that makes the seasons not stand out you know what i'm saying like I get the events. The events make some of the seasons. I'm not even going to lie. Events 
every season would be kind of cool. But uh, events at the end of a chapter will also be cool, which I think we have been getting. But it's just not it's just not the way it, it feels. Like, it doesn't feel right anymore um, to load up a season, be hype about the battle pass and everything. I like to be completely honest with you guys. I get hyped about the battle pass every season, but this is the one time I'm going to put my expectations low, which I'm going to say that is a good thing because hopefully I'm ho I'm I'm like I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm I'm hoping I'm wrong. I I really am. Um but my expectation is going to be low nonetheless. Moving on. The loot pools in Fortnite. How do I feel about them, man? I feel like we're getting too much. I feel like it's too much inside of Battle Royale, um, the Battle Royale expect as far as the build mode and zero build. Um, I feel like different modes need a loop, a loop pools. As we as we see right now, Team Rumble has a pretty good loop pool. I, I cannot lie there. You start off with like three weapons off the bat, and it's kind of making me want Team Rumble to stand out a little bit more as a mode and make Epic Games want to do more to it, but... It's it's a lot of things we haven't been getting, man. Team Rumble has been uh, it ha has been changed more more for the worse than the better. So I don't really like Team Rumble as much as I used to. Um, but hey, it still helps in some uh, some ways, challenges and stuff like that. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, let's talk about LTMs. Uh, uh in that same subject. Um, and we'll kind of lead back towards a loophole. Um. We haven't gotten LTMs, Solid Gold, Sniper Shootout, uh, Floor Meets, uh, not Floor Meets Lava, but Floor, Floor Lava, whatever it's called. I don't know what uh, that mode was called. Um, it's so many different LTMs that were so good. And, uh, well, we had Close Quarters, I think, as a mode. We had so many different LTMs. We need LTMs to come back in Fortnite. And I believe the reason why they don't want to bring them out, because maybe it has issues with their servers, Considering that you have Save the World, you have Battle Royale, you have Zero Build Battle Royale, you have Creative, you have, uh, you know, so many other things that's in the game as well. And you add in uh, LTMs, which I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, two at most will be freaking fantastic. Two at most will be fantastic. Every week, a new uh, two modes or whatever. You you come up with a new one. You bring back an old one, something like that. Just every week, a uh, two new LTMs. I I will personally like that. I don't know. It's just me. Moving on back to the loophole. Um, like I said, zero build, uh, battle royale and regular battle royale needs two separate loopholes. Um, I don't know if you want to do the same thing for ranked as well give them a different loophole which i think they have certain weapons that are removed from rank which kind of wants me to play rank more than uh battle royale and uh zero build battle royale um zero build this season just feels not it like last season i actually like zero build a bit more this season not so much uh i've been more back again back into like the builds this season uh I feel like the Bills is probably the best to play this season, especially with the addition of the Mamba Pistol being added into uh, Zero Bill and both uh, yeah, both uh, Zero Bill Battle Royale and regular Battle Royale as well. Um, the Mamba Pistol is just too overpowered of a weapon. I don't know how much they nerfed it. They had an update today, apparently. I was asleep. I left the PlayStation 5 on, and it already updated when I woke, woke up. I have not played a match. I'm, li I'm currently sitting in the lobby. Every time I make the podcast, I sit in the lobby um, while I talk about the game because maybe I want to look through my locker. Maybe I want to look through my career, battle pass, quest, whatever, whatever. Some, some things might pop into my head, and I might need the game for, you know, the information that I might uh, might, might particularly need here. Um... So moving on, my favorite season, man. Now it's it's gonna be a season in chapter one, obviously. I don't think um, anything from chapter three or four um, done it for me. Uh, chapter two, I did like a few seasons. Um, 
I was just thinking about the agency season. I was ta- I was saying I hated that season for some reason, which I feel like I don't. But at the same time, I feel like I knew some of the reasons why. But you had the you had the big four corners on that map. You had the uh what was that the introductory of the charge shotgun or somewhat of the charge shotgun that came in through that season. You had the uh what is it the Brutus minigun, I think. Um, it was, it was a decent, it was a decent, um, uh, row of weapons, uh, in that season. You had the Volts, which the Volts mattered in that season compared, compared to these new seasons. Um, Chapter 2, Season 2 was really good. I, I, I at least think it was Chapter 2, Season 2, uh, when you had Dark or Shadow. I mean, not Dark or Shadow, cause it, that, I don't know why that popped up into my head. You either had, uh, Ghost or Shadow, I think. Um, those, those were the two, uh, agencies or whatever. Um, you had the, you had so many different places around that map, but that is probably going to be my favorite in chapter two. Um, that's going to be my favorite in chapter two, but we're going to go ahead and mention our favorite of all time here. Our favorite battle pass of all time, because that was the question was based on. And my favorite battle pass of all time is season three. I love season three. They had, uh, I think that was the first uh, event we actually got to see in Fortnite with the whole rocket and everything. I think that came from season three. And I liked everything about that season. Um, it kind of jump started everything for me as far as um, playing the game and it got me into Fortnite and everything. And it's not even, a, a, it's not even the nostalgic moments. It, it was the moments I was able to create Plus, you know, learning the game for the first time, learning the game for the first time, getting the feel. I was trash. Everybody else was trash. Um, and it worked out for the better. I was laughing. I was having fun. Uh, when I died, I didn't really care. I loaded up into the game. I loaded back in. I loaded back in. I loaded back in. I loaded back in. I kept going. I kept going. I kept playing. Um, it's not the fact that I'm older now. That's the reason why I get burned out and stuff like that. I feel like I'm around too much negativity sometimes. So that, that could be some of the reasons why I'm just automatically just over playing the game and stuff like that. I got to get, I got to get my mind on a certain level. Hopefully when I start working, everything just gradually just comes to a full circle. And I'm just like, okay, everything's set. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully everything works out like that. I'm not too sure if it will or will it not. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So season, season three, all the way. Season three is my favorite. Um, a lead agent, Dark Voyager, the Reaper. Uh, you had the two astronaut skins. Uh, what else was in this season? Uh, Russ Lord, right? That was pretty much about it. Pretty, pretty decent season. Um, my favorite, like I said, it's gonna be my favorite. Um, with with uh chapter one, season four being a really good one as well. I think that's that that very well is in competition with season three, uh, chapter one, season three. I'm gonna make a video. Uh, whenever I get a chance to on every single chapter, uh, what's my favorite season from every single chapter. So stay tuned for that. Um, I feel like what was what it next season? Next season is going to be the last season probably for the chat uh, for chapter four. So they're going to try to do four seasons in a year. Um, I don't know why I do that. If like, you're not really trying to put story into your game nowadays. Um, I don't know. Moving on. Me being burnt out for Fortnite, I kind of was just talking about uh, this. Am I burnt out this season? Not really. Do I not want to play the game this season? Sure. I don't really want to play the game right now. I'm level 213. Uh, New challenges are supposed to be coming out very soon. Uh, for the Victoria's level up quest pack, so that's the only reason why I got to get on the game for, other than save the world. That's that's literally about it. Like, am I burnt out? I'm not really burnt out this season. 
to be completely honest. I'm just disappointed the way the season was, like battle pass and everything. Like item shops, lack of item shops. I'm not excited for the item shop every day. I used to be. No, I'm not. I'm not anymore. Um, yeah, it's just so much that's not right with the season, to be completely honest. Like, I try to spend so much of my time playing different games. I've been on Road Company. I this how this is how bored I've been of Fortnite. I got on Marvel Spider Man Remastered on the PS5. Played the game all the way through a long time ago. I was thinking about it. Should I restart? Should I restart? Should I restart? Kept asking myself the same question. Should I restart? I said no. Continue where I left off. Uh, so basically, it left me doing side quests, side missions, and stuff like that. I enjoyed doing them. Got 100% completion on the game. Um, and unlock all the suits for the main story. Then I had three more suits to unlock. And I had to play the DLC missions. And I 100% all the DLC uh, as well. All three DLCs, 100% of them. I uh, did side missions, everything. The whole story, everything. Completed 100%. And guess what else I did? I created a new game plus and basically played the game again all over again and played it on the highest difficulty if you don't think i'm bored of fortnite right now i don't know what you think i i'm doing like i try to make content when i can and things i'm trying to talk try to get more eyes here on the channel There's so much people that don't know about the channel so i just go ahead and try to do what i can as far as that is concerned and that's literally it am i burnt out of fortnite no but was I was I burnt out last season? Yes, but I didn't really get to complete last season the way I was supposed to anyway because the internet, well, it wasn't even the internet. I don't think I really got on to play that much, but they cheated me out of one edit style last season. They cheated me out of one edit style, but they gave me the other ones even though I didn't work for them technically. Um, it is what it is um, as far as that goes. I'm over here thinking right now. Um, oh, yeah, I was looking at that Wi-Fi box because going into this season, I didn't get to play the first week because the Internet was off. Um, couldn't pay for the bill. I couldn't pay for the bill. Dad couldn't pay for the bill. Um, but eventually got things back on, and now the Internet is better than ever. I live basically by myself. This is my grandma's place, my dad's place, obviously. Um, I'm here by myself and I, I'm enjoying it to an extent, but you kind of feel that alone, like loneliness a little bit. I know I probably shouldn't even really be talking about it on the podcast, but you kind of feel it a little bit. But at the same time, if I want to do my YouTube content, it's probably the best for this to happen right now. Um, I think everything has been set really good, though, so far. Like, I, I'm not really regretting anything. If I need to move out, I can. I have places to go to if I want to move out. So that is great and everything. So I will say that is very good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into some of the other things because I've probably been going on too long in this podcast. Probably actually not. Probably actually not. I think we do on. Uh, th I think we're doing pretty good. Twenty eight minutes in, I think we've been doing pretty good. So, this is called this next topic. This uh, anime is called the Ju the the Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't. I, I don't like. I feel like I know how to say it, but I'm messing it up for some reason. Um. So this anime, uh, they just came out with these skins today. If, uh, you guys might be hearing Fortnite in the background right now. Probably not the music, but y'all probably hear me going through the tabs because I'm trying to look at this item shop. It might not even load up because, like I told you guys at the beginning of the video, um, I keep Fortnite in the background. That's number one. And number two, I usually keep things downloading. So I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see the anime, but at the same time, I got uh, Warzone installing right now. Okay, it loaded up. Um... So, we have the, I'm not even going to say any of these skins' name, because I don't want to butcher it, 
But I see one skin that I specifically like, and he's the one that comes with the two emotes, the uh the sword, and I guess that's the back bling that comes with it, maybe. And he's probably the best. He's probably the best out of all of them. All the rest of them look lackluster, um, in my personal opinion. Um, everything looks, everything, I mean, might look great for them, though. These skins might sell well for those that watch the anime. Uh, let me know down in the comments, have you watched it? And, um, also let me know, is it good? Is it good? Um, I like animes personally, um, but I only like certain ones. I, I feel, I find animes to be very weird. So that's the reason why I don't try to watch a bunch of them. I think next time I watch an anime, it's going to be One Piece. I'm stuck in season one, and I've been watching it, but I've been restarting this, uh, the uh, the anime just to understand the story. But then I stop watching, and then I come back to it, restart it again, and do just do that. I'm just like, nah. The the most anime I've been into was Naruto. So I've been really loving Naruto, um, both the... First Naruto when they was kids and Shippuden, I really lo love those Naruto's um um those uh, shows. Never really got to watch the movies because I heard the movies didn't involve anything that happened in the main story, so I I, I didn't want to watch it. So that's the reason why I was like, nah, because it didn't really involve anything that happened with the main story. I feel satisfied. I don't want to go to Boruto because I feel like. I feel like my man's my man's Naruto is going to be his end on that show, so I don't want to see that. I re I really do not want to see that. Like, and it's not even that sense of feeling that the fact that I like I watched the show or whatever. So I don't even know what's going to happen. Um, I watched like two or three episodes of the show, um, but I feel like I feel like something might happen to Naruto throughout the show, and I do not want to see that. I'm I'm gonna be completely honest. And Boruto just the first three episodes, the character freaking sucks in my in my opinion so far. I don't know. I only watched three episodes. Oh, three episodes. You didn't really get to know the character like that. I don't like the way it starts off. Me over here thinking Boruto was a girl, even though Boruto doesn't even sound like a freaking female name. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's that's the kind of vibe I got off that show. It kind of gave me some um rainbow vibes, if you know what I mean. Um. But it's like it's nothing against that or anything, but it's just that is not my style. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I like the way the original Naruto and, and Naruto Shippuden was, and that show just didn't give off any of that in my personal opinion. Especially with the way the whole show looks as a whole, as far as the animation look. Moving on, terrible anime shadings, because we just literally talked about the collab. You still gonna hear Fortnite in the background again? Cause I am going to look at these, look at these skins. Okay, it looked like they fixed them. It looked like they fixed them, but um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it anyway. We're gonna talk about it anyway. Um, so the terrible anime shading. They have these shadings, um, like you know, for a Goku, a Naruto, a Kakashi, a Itachi, a whatever else they brought out. Some of these shadings to these anime skins look absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. But we had these Academy skins that actually came out in the item shop, uh, I guess, before last season ended. Um, I was looking at one. I designed it the way I wanted to, and it looked really good. And one of my things that just popped up in my head, one of the things that just popped up in my head is, why can't these shadings, these cell shadings, be for some of these anime skins as well. The fact that we can change the shading of different, like, you know, the different skins. I'm like, why hasn't that happened yet? Like, literally, why hasn't that happened yet? Like, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't know why that has not happened Um, as far as changing your shading to a different anime character. I don't, I, I literally don't know why it hasn't happened yet. To be completely honest, it needs to happen, and it needs to happen sooner rather than later because they're going to come up with certain skins, and if it doesn't look good, I'm not going to buy it, to be completely honest. I bought Naruto just because I love the Naruto anime show, um, both shows, and so many other different things. I feel like One Piece is going to be coming into the game soon. I hope, Hopefully, it's based off the first season, and maybe it has some styles from their other season, even maybe the newer season. Um, hopefully we'll get some things like that going into, uh, the anime, the 
uh, and all the other stuff. I'm generally hyped, hyped about whatever else that, you know, is coming out soon for the game. And hopefully it's very good. Next topic. Why I picked Elite Agent as my main. Well, I, I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. So I loaded up season three. I believe I played the game with my friend Trevor. Shout out to Trevor. Um, and we was both looking at the battle pass. We was both looking at the battle pass. My first, my first, I'm not going to say my first battle pass that I grinded because I played chapter one, season two. I just didn't buy that battle pass, but you can basically still grind the battle pass and get certain rewards. I remember getting Ride the Pony from, um, you know, the the season or whatever um, from season two and also seeing the worm in that battle pass and all those other emails. I do remember visually seeing some of those things. I didn't get to see every single thing that was in this season, but I know for a fact they had me in a certain tier list. I didn't think it started from one. I don't think. I don't know if it started from one when you click battle pass or whatever, but all I remember is it had me on the tier where I had the emote. And I don't remember scrolling to theirs. Um, it's just a picture that's in my head. Um, I don't remember scrolling. I just remember just seeing the emote. And that was literally it. Um, I didn't really see anything else. So I didn't really touch anything. I was always trying to figure out how you switch skins and stuff too. And turns out you had the boss skins, which I didn't know that during the time. I really, I really didn't know that during the time because I really didn't spend... I didn't spend money on uh, add-ons on the game or anything like that, unless it was for my WWE wrestling game. And um, that was the first I ever seen him. But moving on to season three, let's talk about that. I was looking through that battle pass. I was like, bro, this is this is freaking cool. I've seen the astronaut skins. I mainly like the female better than the male, obviously, because that's just how things have been going recently. I don't really know why, but it's really... How things have been going. Um, what else? We had uh what else we had? I know the Reaper was towards the end. We also had Dark Voyager. Um, we had Rust Lord. It might have been something else that was in that battle pass. Um Was Rook part of season five? I feel like she was. Guy I, I, I for some reason I said Rook was part of season three one time. And I got corrected on that. Um, but that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to move on towards Elite Agent. Um, Elite Agent, man. I seen that skin. I was like, man, what the freak, man. I said, this skin looks kind of sick. Because it, it gave me ninja. It, came, it gave me ninja army vibes. Which I don't even know if that's actually a certain, like, a such thing. But all I pictured in my mind was a ninja because of the mask. And a soldier because of the helmet that was on top. So I was thinking of, okay, helmet, mask, ninja, like a ninja army type character. That's what I kind of think of when I think of a lead agent, a ninja army type character. And I feel like the character was such a unique character and it, it was so good. It was so good, man. Like, I enjoyed... I enjoyed grinding my whole time for that skin because I was literally telling my friend, I was like, bro, this skin is my favorite. He asked me, he, I, I remember what Trevor said. I, he was like, really? Like that day, if if he watching this right now, you literally said, this, bro, you was, you was like, really that skin? Because like, I don't, I don't know if you was like, uh, that skin didn't really oppress you ver that very well or anything. Uh, of course, like it's well respected now, but. Man, back then, back then it was it was something else. I thought that skin was literally the best skin of Fortnite ever, and I it's not that I even think that. I don't even think it's the best skin in Fortnite now. It's so many really great skins that's probably better than Elite Agent. But when you stick to a main, you stick to a main, especially when a lot of people don't own that skin. So it kind of it kind of works out. But I will say this: I hope that skin gets styles. Not styles, but like additional skins going forward, because I feel like I feel like uh, some people just need the experience of having those skins. So I think I think in my personal opinion, I think item shops, 
uh, going forward should have remade skins. And I'm talking about skins that are very popular, whether it's a Dark Voyager. Uh, we can't do John Wick because John Wick, if they come out with a movie, the, the, the John Wick stuff will come out. And I, I feel like uh, everybody's satisfied with the John Wick uh, over the Reaper type deal. I don't know if any if anybody likes the Reaper over John Wick. I don't own John Wick um, in my locker, but I wish I did. If he ever comes back out and I have V-Bucks on my account and it doesn't hurt me, I will pick it up um, just just because I think John Wick is uh, a phenomenal skin, either though I have not watched the movies. Um, I'm just not a movie person. Movies take too long. That's the reason why I don't really watch movies like that. But I will uh, kind of get into movies more uh, in the near future. I think I'm going to watch uh, Fast and Furious after I watch both the Mario and Ninja Turtles movie. Um, I will go ahead and watch Fast and Furious, every single one of them, and give my thoughts on them. And I will contact my friend uh, Trevor to tell him what do I think of those movies because... I feel like a lot of people are like, what the world did you do with your life? Do you just play video games? Is that it? I play video games and I watch YouTube. And if I don't watch YouTube, I'm watching a TV show. And it's probably something that came out years ago. It's probably something that came out a decade ago. Or maybe more than a decade ago. Because... That is the type of stuff that I like to watch. Not not like old stuff, but stuff that I grew up as a kid watching, which I don't consider old, at least not yet. When I get about 25 or something, uh, so like that, I I will probably consider those uh, shows being old. But I, don't, I, I think they connect with uh, today's uh, you know, society with like the kids and everything more so than the newer shows that are coming out. Um, I know I'm kind of like just going off topic here. When it comes to certain things, but hey, I had I had to, I had to say that I had to say that. Like uh, following with the question, why I picked the lead agent as my main? Phenomenal skin. I already said it. Ninja Army. <laughs> it, it falls in line. It falls in line with the name, uh, the Ninja X Twenty One. So, yeah. I'm I'm thinking about this right now and my mind is and my mind just literally got irritated by the question I just put in my uh quote tweet. Will next season be any good? No. I like my like it falls in line with my expectations question. I my expectations are very low for this next season, chapter four, season four. Is very low, so I'm like I said, I'm I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping I'm wrong. I hope this new season is literally the best season ever, man. I literally hope that this new season will be good. I hope the weapon pool is good. I hope the battle pass skins are good. I think the most excited I've been about this season, the th- the two things that had me hyped about the season was the era skin. The first skin you get in the battle pass, w- along with the style that came on, along you, uh, along with you graduating basically through the battle pass. Um, going through the battle pass, you see that other style that was great too. But the other thing that had me like, I'm like, bro, what is this like about the season or whatever? So you know, basically, uh, Dynamo, right? She kind of got a remade skin in this battle pass here that didn't really too bad. But throwing all that aside here, not really talking about the skin, there was an emo basically for a referee to count one, two, three. And that kind of had me hyped. I said, bro, that's actually kind of dope. Like, not even, it's not even creative because it's already, you know, it, it's already a thing. But the fact that they had my mind twisting and turning. Bro, I can literally put that with my referee skin and have that emote just in case, you know, you know, I get an elimination or something. I want to just do that emote or something like when I get a victory out. I thought that was pretty cool. So those 
those two things had me hyped up about the season, including the edit style for the first skin of the Battle Pass for Chapter 4, Season 3. As far as um, going back to the topic, will next season be any good? In my opinion, no. Me hoping it'd be good? Yes. I, I, I want it to be good. I want it to be the best season possible. Every season, I want I want it to be better than the next season. I want them to outdo themselves. But unfortunately, I've not been getting that vibe for the past few seasons, even in Chapter 3, have not really been getting that vibe. So, hey, it is what it is um, at this point. All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Icon emotes falling off. This is a very interesting one. Very interesting one. Um, might as well talk about it, man. Might as well talk about it. So I've been going into the item shop and basically been looking through uh, the shop. And, and I'm just looking through and I'm just seeing these emotes. Okay, some of these emotes saying own because I own them. I had a very slight problem of uh, buying the emotes rather than buying the skins I was looking for during the time. I have a lot. Of, bro, I would have 500 skins by now if I didn't buy all those Icon C Series emotes up. I will say that. And it's, it's been these newer emotes. And you guys will probably hear the tab switch again because I have the volume kind of connected with the picture on screen here. Uh, which is my Arachne and Spider Knight. I love those two skins with a passion. Love those two skins. Um, as we loading back up, obviously I'm flipping through the tabs again. Hopefully the Icon Series emotes are still in the item shop. Okay, so I'm looking. Start it up. Fast feed. Without you. The quick style. Um, I don't like those emotes, but made you look. Savage, Wake Up, Macarena, and Snare Solo. I like those emotes. I only own Made You Look, Savage, and Wake Up. I want Snare Solo, and I want Macarena, but I'm not going to buy them yet. I have enough to at least get one of those, because I only have like 425 V-Bucks. I can play Save the World and get a variety of V-Bucks from Save the World, which is 130 plus a, another 80 and plus a 90, which we'll talk about in the next topic, which will probably be the last topic of the video, because we have been going on and on about it. And we'll talk about this next section. The the only the only two well, I, I'm not even gonna say two emotes because I kinda like copines a little bit. Sway. I don't like sway. I don't like sway. I don't like that emote, but I bought the BTS dynamite pack. I own that. Build up, I own that. Tootsie Slide, I own that. Shout, I own that, because that's a very good emote. If you guys don't own the shout emote, I don't know what you guys doing. The Renegade got that. Tootsie got that. And the uh, one that I don't own that I do want is it's a vibe. I want that emo. That's only 300 V-Bucks. And I might think about getting it. I might think about getting it because I might not have enough for this Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair skin. So I might think I might think about getting that. It, uh, the newer emotes here recently has just been lackluster in my personal opinion they have not been good you basically seeing the same thing being done over again um in the emo and i do not like it whatsoever i think it's lazy and if you want to if you want me to buy those skins they're gonna have to get cheaper i mean not not skins the emotes you're gonna you're gonna have to make them cheaper in price because i'm not buying n no emo for 500 v bucks it's basically the same thing uh, this basically this the same move over and over again in the emo. Eventually, they will repeat it in certain emotes, but these feel too repetitive compared to the other ones. I don't know. I'm just not into them. I'm just not into them at all. Last topic of the day. We're just moving on ahead there. That kind of it didn't really get me heated, but it got me to the point where I kind of just want to end the podcast. But we're gonna talk about the last. We're gonna talk about the last thing here. Save the world daily rewards, man. Let's go ahead and talk about these. Um. So we re we we had a change a few months back that basically removed daily rewards um from Fortnite. Um. What do I? How do I feel about it? I felt, I felt like, a little disappointed. And a little like questionable. I'm like, why? You didn't really change Save the World at all. So why try to change anything about it now? 
when you haven't really changed anything about it in the past however many years Save the World has been out, which has been out longer than Battle Royale. Excuse me. Um, yeah. I'm like, why? Why is it going, like, why is it going away? Like, what's what's happening here? Um, and then they were talking about, okay, so we add, we, uh, so we add more b to so basically daily quests, um, and they will add, you know, different other things to, uh, certain modes, whether it is XP, uh, gold, whatever else you can get as far as helping you out and save the world. So I was thinking, I was like, huh, I wonder what we're going to be getting. So when they meant my more V-Bucks, you get daily quests every single day as long as you own the Founders Edition, which was a very expensive bundle back in the day, which a lot of people was complaining about that because they bought Save the World all that time ago, probably because of the V-Bucks in the first place. And when Daily Rewards got taken out, it just was like, wow. It really went away like that. But let's talk about the the V Bucks, the amount of V Bucks they have added to daily quests, depending on how lucky you get. Sometimes you replace a challenge and you get a higher amount of V Bucks. Sometimes you don't. It just be another eighty V Buck, uh, basically challenge. Um, and let's go ahead and talk about that. So it used to be like fifty or sixty V Bucks you get per challenge. Now it's eighty, ninety, and one hundred and thirty. Which I think is freaking great. I think it's freaking great. Fifty, not uh, not fifty, but fifty and sixty. Obviously, though, uh, it, it's better to have uh, eighty, ninety, and one hundred thirty V bucks over that fifty and sixty. Obviously, but um, I did a little math calculating in my head. Um, I was basically like, bro, you basically getting like five hundred sixty plus V bucks a week. You're getting that much a week. And I'm like, man, that's that's honestly crazy. I need to start playing Saber World more, to be honest with you. I've been slacking for the past few days. I told myself I was going to go ahead and get on. But my cousin invited me to play the little road company. I wasn't, I, 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 I needed to play the game with somebody. So I went in and got on road company with my cousin. We played that for a little bit. And I was like, yeah, that, I felt pretty good. I felt pretty strong about it. So I, I went in and just played that game and had a blast. I had a blast um, with that game, and I, I just didn't want to play nothing else. Uh, but I've been, like, slacking on my daily rewards a lot, man. I really have. I really have, and I want to play Save the World a bit more. Not even because of the daily rewards. I do want to actually complete the main story to that game as well. Not, I'm not too sure if I want to do all of the challenges they have inside of that game. I'm not too sure if I want to go ahead and do those, but I'm not. I'm not too sure. Obviously, but um, that's gonna be it for the podcast. I'm getting a little tired here. That's what reason why I'm kind of like getting a little repetitive when I'm kind of saying certain things. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it though. Um, I'm gonna try to do anything that I can to bring out the next podcast. This was a freaking banger, though. This almost went an hour long, and I'm I'm just glad it didn't. I'm I'm just glad it didn't get to that hour mark because I didn't really want to make the video longer than what it needed to be. But you guys will probably see this around 4:30 tomorrow. If you don't, if you guys don't see this around 4:30 tomorrow, look for some time five five to six o'clock maybe. Um, it it will be out. Hopefully, we we'll just have it out before eight o'clock, and yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.